stop this. Have you ever sent something through the mail? Maybe you're expecting a letter from someone far away. The post office will deliver your mail. A letter begins its journey through the postal service. Right, that's what we've been learning about, how you deliver mail to each other. A friendly face. Letter carriers, so that's postman or a postwoman, deliver mail to homes and businesses. They meet a lot of people in their community. Letter carriers usually work the same delivery route every day. Right, so they're delivering mail in the same neighborhoods because that's the route they're on. Letter carriers also collect mail and bring it back to the post office. Have you seen one of these blue mailboxes in your community? All right, so this is where we drop off mail, kind of like the one in our dramatic play. Some letter carriers deliver mail in postal service trucks. Remember these big white trucks that we see driving around? The lobby. Postal customers can find everything they need in a post office lobby. A lobby has mail drop slots, packaging supplies, and postage scales. A customer weighs a package on a lobby postage scale. That's how you determine how much money it's going to cost you to send the package. Postage is the cost of mailing something. The amount of postage depends on the size, shape, weight, and time needed for delivery of the package. All right, and this is an example of a stamp. So this stamp has a man named Gerald R. Ford on it. Clerks. Postal clerks work behind a counter. The most important job they have is to help the customers. They sell stamps and supplies. They also collect and weigh outgoing mail. Postal clerks can answer any shipping question a customer has. The post office sells boxes, envelopes, labels, and tape. Right, kind of like all the materials we have in our dramatic play. Those are the things you can buy at a post office. Processing mail. A mail processing center sorts mail for many communities. Processing centers have machines that sort mail by size and shape. Remember that video we watched where we saw that big machine sorting all of the mail? A canceled stamp is marked with lines. A canceled stamp cannot be reused. You see the lines over the stamp there? A postal employee guides envelopes through a sorting machine. Right? So she's putting the envelopes through the machine so they can be sorted by size and shape. Trucks move mail from processing centers to local post offices. Mail handlers sort mail for letter carriers. The post office delivers millions of pieces of mail every delivery day. A mail handler sorts the incoming packages. Right, so he is looking to see the size and the weight of the package and checking the address to see where the packages need to go. Oh, addressing an envelope, right? That's what we've been learning in the class. Do you know how to address an envelope? The post office likes everyone to use the same format. So where the first line has your name, the second line has your house number and the name of the street you live on, and the last line has the city, state, and zip code. A zip code is a group of numbers the post office gives to a delivery area. So that's where you can see this is the name, the address, the city, the state, and the zip code. And you need that on every piece of mail so they know where to send it to. Moving mail. The post office uses trucks, cars, boats, and trains to deliver mail. They even deliver by mule to remote places like the Havasupai Indian Reservation in Arizona, right? So we don't have that here, but in some places they use mules to deliver mail. People in out of the way places get mail too, right? So this is mail being delivered by train. Now you know how mail travels from one place to another. Thousands of hardworking men and women take pride in their job to deliver the mail, right? So these are all the things that we've been learning about sending letters.